As an astronaut visiting planet X, you're assigned to measure the free fall acceleration. Getting out your meter, meter stick and stopwatch, you time the fall of a heavy ball from several heights. Your data are as follows. So you have the height over here, you, know, you drop it from zero meters, takes zero seconds to reach the floor, it's already there. One meter, two meters, three meters, um, and so on. And this is the time that it takes to reach the floor or the ground from this particular height. Analyze the data to find the free fall acceleration. The analysis method involves fitting a straight line to the appropriate graph. So this problem, uh, you can actually solve it in several ways. So the, in any case, you're going to need this kinematic equation. So the position is equal to the initial position plus the initial velocity times time plus one half of the acceleration times uh, time squared. So in this case, the final position is always zero because um, it's the ground, right? Zero meters, one, two, three meters. This is where you're gonna drop it. So uh, X nail is uh, this one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. The initial velocity is zero in every case. So you're, you're not pushing it or you know, towards the, the ground. You're just letting it go without any initial velocity. And this acceleration is what we're looking for. So if you wanted to do this as uh, um, fit it to a straight line, Mm, here the acceleration is, uh, so this one we're gonna move it over here. Um, multiply times two, this one, and then divide by um, t squared. So the more direct way is to just calculate uh, this acceleration for the different um, for the different heights. So minus x not divided by um, T squared. So for this data, it's going to be minus two times one meter divided by 0 0.54 seconds squared. So the units are meter per second squared. And I already calculated these numbers. Um, actually, except for the 0.54 squared. So this is going to be uh, minus two meters divided by 0 0.291 uh, second squared. And I am going to uh, where shall I put it? I guess I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. So time in seconds. And I'm going to put the acceleration over here in meters per second. So the first one is negative 2 divided by 0.291. And that is equal to 6.85. I'm going to 
or 6.86. I'm going to use a different color. And so on here, you can just repeat this. So negative two, two meters divided by, so now it's this case, 0 0.72 seconds squared. Negative four meters divided by 0 0.52 seconds squared. And that is going to be equal to 7.71 um, and so on, right? So negative two, three meters, 0 0.91 seconds squared. So that's negative six. Oh, and by the way, we have the negative in here in, in all cases because the acceleration is pointing down. Um, so this one is 0.83 seconds squared. And this one is 7.24 negative. And we just do exactly the same for the other uh, I guess this one was six point eighty six, right? This is the first one. This one was seven point seventy one, seven point twenty four. Sorry about that, I started at zero which is not defined, um, 7.84 and 7.30. Okay, so I'm uh, taking the average, which I already did, I got um, 7.39. This is average, it's not vector, although it's also a vector. Which is approximately equal to the 7.5 meters per second squared um, in the answer. Right, so the more, I guess long, longer, the, the longer way to do it, um, but you're not going to get a better answer, you know, because you don't have a lot of data here. Is to um, get a a straight line, so your x-axis is going to be t squared, and you can plot the position uh, against t squared, and in that case. Well, the initial position. The, since you are plotting against T squared, this takes the form of um, Y equals MX plus B equation. And in that case, uh, A will be the slope, right? Or twice the slope, because you have the one half factor in there. So if you plot the position, so this height uh, against the square of the time, and we could do that, uh, you're going to get a straight line. And then you can do a linear fit. So to do a linear fit, you minimize, you, know, you find the, the slope that minimizes the, the error. And the error will be the distance from data point to the line that you're fitting. So that's a longer way to do it. Uh, you can use, uh, you can do it manually, but it'll take you a while. Uh, you can use a computer, that'll be pretty, pretty quickly to do. 
using, for example, um, Excel. But yeah, I think this is the, the easier way. So thank you.